I'm sure this is going to come as a surprise to you guys, but I, so with working with the IP kid, it's made me want to learn Chinese. So I'm practicing. Um, I think by this point, like, I'm not, I don't think I'm naturally good at learning languages. Um, and I will stick by that. I learned just two years of high school Spanish and then two years in college, and I can barely speak it now. I could speak it for a while, but not well. Like, I was not able to do much with the language. After that, I attempted to learn, um, uh, Creole, um, after going to Haiti, um, and that I know, like, three sentences, maybe, como huye, muy bien, uh, hay wopo, and, like, um, no fumo, maybe. So, not very good. And then Hindi was my first successful attempt, and then attempt, and once you learn how you learn languages, or how to do it, it gets a lot easier. And so, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about how I learn languages and how, um, what the process looks like. And so the first thing that I do is I get really excited about the language and decide I'm going to learn it. And then I find a few materials that are fun materials and a few that are like study materials. And I kind of go from there and I get excited about, um, the people and like meeting the people. And so with, with Chinese, we were at some friends' house who are Chinese and I asked, I was getting, wa I was washing my hands and I asked how to say water and it's shui. Shui. And for me with Chinese, I still have to do this with my finger or my head. Shui. Um, and so at the end of the night, then we were saying goodbye. And I asked, she was, the mom was telling her child no. And I said, like, how do you say no in Chinese? Because I could kind of hear her and, and it's boo. And I don't remember if it's boo or boo or boo. I don't remember which boo. I don't remember what the tone is. But um, but then I was like, okay, so boo shui is no water. And it, it wasn't right. Um, It was boo and then it needed the word forget water and so that but that's how I learn like that's how I do it when I'm around people like I'll pick one word up and then I'll try to and I try to pick a word that's popular so like water is a good example because it's something that every but you see every day and then it's um and if you're around kids like no is a good one too um so that's how I started and then or start like got excited about it started thinking about it and then um I have this book Chinese I wouldn't say that it is a good um book to learn Chinese from but as an artist it is a beautiful book um, you can see tons of lectures online about it. Um, it's not great for learning the language, but it is good for learning some of the characters. And then I found a website, or a, a woman on, a, a YouTube video. I love YouTube. I use YouTube a lot. And it's Learn Chinese with Yi Zhao. Um, I don't know how to say her name, for sure. But, uh, I'll try to put it in the comments below. But, um, she has some videos where she does a word of the day, and then, um, she'll do... Uh, a bunch of things to go with that word. So these are to drink, it's the verb to drink, and then to drink water, to drink tea, to drink milk, to drink alcohol, to drink coffee, and then on. So it, so this, I'll make maybe 30 of these, and then once I've made the flashcards, I'll study a flashcard each day. And that's how I start to learn a language. Like it's, I may, I do a lot of prep work. I do, I really like flashwords, flashcards, but I want, like, full flashcards of information, and I'll do one each day, and I don't, mem like, I don't have it down perfectly, but my goal is to get one, and maybe I'll probably right now, this stage in life, do, um, one, I'll set, like, just a 30-day goal, um, my goals aren't to get to a certain level, my goals are to be practicing and being involved in the language, um, and so, so probably what I'll end up doing is I'll end up doing 30 flashcards, maybe I'll even just do 25, or how many weeks are in just one for the weekdays, maybe, or three days a week, maybe three card flashcards a week, so then it's only 12 flashcards. Um, either way, I like to do the prep work ahead of time, so then I have some material to work on. And I'm guessing with this, I want, I do want to work on writing, because I think the artist in me is like, that's so beautiful. So I will, my plan is to figure out the word, the writing order for this and ask people, and then once I get that right, um, to do it, I'll highlight that one in marker, and then do the whole card in pencil. So, uh, We'll see. I don't know how it's going to work. Chinese is so different than any language I've learned. Um, I've learned alphabets before. I've learned the Urdu and the Hindi alphabets. Um, and I've dabbled with the Korean alphabet just because it's fun. I don't know any Korean at all. Um, but the characters is a whole different system, and it's a whole different um, thing. I, I, so I don't know how it'll go. But my plan is to get between 12 and 30 flashcards. We'll see how many I get. And, um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So... That's my Chinese learning journey, first t first one. And I, actually, let me try to practice the tones. And if you guys speak Spanish, if you speak Chinese, correct me on it. Um, he, shui, he, cha, he, 
、喝咖啡、喝牛奶、喝肉、啤酒、红肉、嗯啊、喝,喝啤酒、喝红。I have a hard time trying to say "hong" and going up. 喝红肉，做、so, Oh, also. 你好 That's what that's 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 what my studying looks like. So, at least for the first few stages, and once I get to the point where like, I can do other things, and maybe I'll read a little book. Our library has a lot of Chinese kids books at it, so I might be able to check one of those out once I get tw twelve flashcards would not get me there, <laughs>、um, but maybe thirty or sixty or ninety flashcards would get me there. I don't know. I think you actually do need to know two hundred characters to read much of anything. I think, but. Yeah, so we'll see. I've got a few, <laughs> but、um, yeah, I hope that's helpful if you're trying to learn a language. Like I said, this is new. It's all trial and error. I might spend a month doing something that I learned very little on. And with Hindi, there were months where I just I didn't do much. And I with Portuguese right now too. Like I have plateaued. But yeah, that's what <laughs> we'll see. I'll update you guys in a little bit.